Oh my god, I forgot about the intro. About time I finished this video anyways. Hello everybody, Angel Fate here. Um welcome to my second farming guide. It's gonna be an updated guide on how to do herb runs on lunars. Um as you all know, a lot of um uh, new updates lately that change the way you can do herb runs or farm runs. Um, this includes the Livid Farm, up, um, both updates, both Livid Farm updates. Um, the extension for the Love Story Quest um, during the next update, you know, the God Wars Dungeon, and um, uh, how Trohayam looks, you know, the graphical update. So that all will be included in this, in this guide. First, let's look at the basic requirements. You need the Lunar Spellbook, duh. And you need 83 magic to use the two farming spells. If you can't use fertile soil, then there's no point in farming on Lunars. You need astrals. A lot, a lot, a lot of astrals. You go through astrals faster than Nightmare like RH goes through his popcorn chicken. Well, nature's earth runes, or better still, a mod staff because some of the tellies need like waters and law runes for telly. Okay, let's start the timer and start the farm run. First patch is the troll stronghold patch. In order to use this patch, you need my arm's big adventure quest, and the most common way to get there is using the spellbook swap. But yeah, good fight, 96 magic. Don't worry, there are other ways to get there now. Um, during the God Wars dungeon update, they extended the um, love story quest. So do the little extension at the end, and you can chisel a helm tally and teleport to Trollheim. There are other ways to get there, but it's a long run and it's really not recommended. Now you want the Troll Stronghold patch to be your first patch because it has the longest distance to run. You don't want to carry around 7kg of tools and wasting running points, especially if you don't have the requirements to teleport to the other patches near. Um, and of course you don't want to waste potion time if you're potting by running all that way. Well, Trohain is a little bit glitchy after the graphical update. What I find easier for me to do is um, I skip the first shortcut entirely and I use only the second and third. Um, I click on the minimap uh, near the shortcut and then when I get there, I'll click on the, the climb over the rock thing. Then that's how I don't get like stuck behind rocks and stuff. And also they changed the leprechaun location to way nearer to the patch, which is awesome. So yeah, as usual, sit around with your um, magic secretaries and your mod staff, um, cast the spells and go on. And second patch is the uh, Falador South. I clean my herbs when I spawn there and then use it on the tool leprechaun to note them. The best way to get to this patch is still the cabbage port. Uh, it's really easy to get. Just finish the Lumbridge Dinner Hot Tasks. Uh, the new teleport on the Livid Farm takes you to the south gate of Falador. Or you can glory to Drainer and run west. Uh, Falador Teletab works too. It's a little bit longer run, but it works. Oh my god, stupid weed. By the way, kids, don't smoke weed. It's not good for you. Alrighty, now after that, we head on over to the haunted woods. You don't have to um, follow the second, third, and fourth patch in order with mine. Just saying that, you know, it's up to you how you want to order the those three and I just recommend the first and last patch um, in this video and I will I give you reasons for it so you can follow if you want to 
Um, this is also called the ectophile patch because the most common way to get there is using the ectophile. You can use the fairy ring to teleport to the haunted woods. Uh, there are other ways to get there, but it's a long run, so again, not recommended. You're better off just going to do the ghost to hoy quest. Alright, just some info of this video. This whole farm run is recorded in real time and there's a timer on the top left corner. So you can see how fast or slow to you my farm run is. Alright, for the RD patch. The RD Cape 4 is the only teleport that takes you right into a patch. But yeah, the requirements are really high. I don't have it, so good luck getting it. Um, Fishing Goat Tully is the next best thing. Uh, you can use it on the Lunar Spellbook, but if you don't have the magic level, you can use the Skills Necklace. The new teleport in the Limit Farm thing uh, teleports you right north of the North Ardy Bank. So it's a little bit further run than the Fishing Goat one. So, or you can just teleport to the Legends Guild or just use the RD Tally, it still works. My last patch is always the Catherby patch because it's nearest to a bank and if you want to, you have a place to buy like um, pineapples for compost. So, yeah, if you want to earn money through compost, you can use the compost bin here. Okay, this patch is simple enough. Just use the Catherby teleport if you have the mage level. If you don't, then use Camelot teletabs. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, let me tell you quickly that I have the maps of all the spawn points when you tell you to the patches in the description bar. I uploaded it to Photo Bucket, so you guys can check that out. And that's the end of the farm run. Let's take a look at the clock. Five and a half minutes. It's actually quite slow for lunars. I bet you guys can do better than I can. Anyways, let me just give you some last like tips before I go. Every good farmer will have this item. So if you don't have the magic secretaries, go get it. If you have time for herbal or habitat, the juju farming potion, I've heard really good reviews on it. It really does increase your harvest a lot and it stacks with the magic secretors. Uh, but only on the Luna spellbook can you farm fast enough to use the potion effectively. Only one dose will do. Uh, remote farm to me is the uh, only livid farm farming spell that um, is worth getting. Uh, you can monitor all your patches so they don't die. Just do it every 20 minutes or so. Or you can use the ML Nature, just watch my previous video on how to get it and how to use it. Just remember to unequip it when you, fa uh, when you harvest because the bonus does not stack with the magic secretaries. Fairy Tale 3 quest, um, after the quest there's a little bonus at the end of it. Talk to the master farmer and then go weed your patches once and then you'll never ever have to carry a rake with you ever again. Weed free patches for the win. Scroll of life from Dungeoneering. And if you're going for a little bit more XP down at the Valley patch, just get the Falador Shield 2 and 3. That's it for the guide. I need to thank my boyfriend for teaching me everything I know about farming. And a special thanks to Quintix for the information on the Lunar spells. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!